After I completed filming the video originally scheduled here for showing you how to use mirror symmetry to twist this object, I realized I was being kind of silly and you can actually do this a much simpler way using the transform object option. So let me just quickly show you the easier way first. And then if you want to stick around for the mirror symmetry part, you can do that as well. But if you want this object to twist, so basically this part that bumps out is up at the top and the tail flips up at the bottom here, what you can do is you can select your object here and then go to object and go to flip horizontal. Now this is where I was getting confused because the head was going the other way and for some reason I couldn't put together that you can just rotate this very easily back to put the head back this way and you can see now we have this exactly the way we want. So the body's flipping out the other way and the tail flips up at the end. So that's a quick way to do it. If you want a little more complicated way and you want to see some of the mirror symmetry options, just stay tuned for that. It's coming up right now. I'm here in Inkscape and I want to take this picture I've drawn of this planarian and I want to change it so this side that bumps out here is at the top and then the tail I want to flip up on this end over here. So I want the head to remain up in this upper right hand corner but I want the body to just wiggle the other way. So you might want to try to do this by selecting your object and going up to something like object and then flipping horizontal. That might be your first instinct. Except when you do this it flips the head over to the other side. So that's not really what we're looking to do. I'll control Z to go back. And you might want to try, you know, object and then flip vertical instead. But again, it flips the head to the wrong spot. So how might you accomplish something like this? Well, with your object selected, you can come up here to path and then you can click on path effects and that'll open up your path effects over here in your right hand sidebar. And from there, you can press the plus icon to start adding path effects. So we're looking for one in here called mirror symmetry. So you can kind of scroll through here and find it that way. There it is. You can also narrow your results by just typing in mirror and you can find the mirror symmetry. And once you've added that, you can see that we have two of the objects here that are just kind of mirrored. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play with the mirror line start X and Y coordinates. And we can actually flip this so we get a twisting perspective instead of a flipping perspective, right? So that's basically we want to take this object and kind of like twist it all the way around to the other uh, side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the X axis. I'm going to start bringing this down so I can hold this down. And you can see that it's moving the planarian in this direction. Now we would keep this going all the way until the planarian's head is all the way at the bottom here. So we're going to move this. I'm going to speed along by just changing this. I'm going to put it at something like 20. And you can see that we have this kind of flipped here. So we have the planarian's head all the way at the bottom here. And then I'm going to take this Y coordinate here and I'm going to bump this up. So I'm going to start bumping it up just so you can see exactly what's happening there. So I'm going to see if I can, it doesn't want to hold that down. Maybe I can show you. So this would be 20. This would be 50. So you can see that starting to rotate down here like this. This would be 70, 80. Let's go up to 110. And let's get all the way up to like 140 is probably about what we want here. So you can see here now, we have basically the opposite perspective that we want to right? So the head is in the upper corner still. Maybe we can get this all the way up to 150. Let's try that. And the body flips the other way. So it bumps out at the top here and then the tail flips up at the bottom. So it looks pretty good, except now we have this big object here with these two images. So what we can do at the end is we can discard the original path by clicking this option here. And then we're left with our object down here, which is exactly what we want. Now I can just do a control shift R to make the background fit to the selection. And we're good. This is exactly what we wanted to accomplish. So that's how you might use something like mirror symmetry to accomplish a twisting perspective on your object. Hopefully this helps you out. And if you like this content, let us know so we make more of it in the future. All right, see ya.